And now we're going to do four definitions. Can we work on the back of? Yes, I, you can of course work on the back. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So the first definition has to do with when you start at a point, a vertex of any triangle, and you go to the middle of the opposite side. If we go to the middle of the opposite side, what, what can I say about this and this? They're congruent. They're congruent, right? OK. And this line here has a name. All right? You know what it is? The bisector. OK. It is, it is bisecting this line. That is true. But it has a specific name. Is it a median? It's called a median. Yeah. Woo! So put that up. I know. What's your name? I don't know. <laughs> Just make one up. Median. OK? And so now let's go ahead and make it plural. Median. Medians start at a vertex and go where? Go. Opposite side. Middle. Opposite side, middle. La 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 la. <laughs> Theme music. Oh, uh, you can say it loud. Yay math. Yay, Yay math. math. Yay math. Yay math. I did that like 10 times. <laughs> that would be funny to me. Just add in the middle of problems, just yeah. get like a button. <laughs> I should do that. Get, get a button and get like all your... Well, and random is good. Random is good. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, one more median, right? Wait, they start at a vertex and... and go to the... Opposite. Say, opposite side. Middle of the opposite side. Okay. Alright, and then let's go there. La 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 la. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <coughs> this point here has a name. It's where all the medians meet. Uh, that would be nice. It's the point where the medians meet, and the point where the medians meet is called this. Centro. Centro. Cent centroid. 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 <laughs> it sounds like a robot. I am a centroid. <laughs> like Star Trek or something? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Where the medians meet? Where the medians meet is called the centroid. Okay? And uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, more information, I'm not going to actually hold you to this, but I just want to let you know. The centroid has a very interesting relationship in that if you look closely, this is longer than this, this part here. It's actually, for this whole line, this part is two-thirds of the line, and this is one-third of the line. As in, if this was six, this would be three. It has a relationship, kind of cool, that's all. Yeah? What if it's in an equilateral? It would work for every triangle. Really? Same thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes? So you said the centroid is where the medians intersect? Right on, right. That's centroid where the medians intersect. Okay, and this little relationship, this two-thirds relationship, I'm not going to hold it, hold you to it, but I'm just letting you know it exists. Okay, next definition. Draw a similar style triangle. Like that. Okay, this one is called the altitude. What do you think an altitude is? Yes? Oh, it was yeah? Like, like how high. How high the triangle is, right? Just like how high a mountain is. Altitude thickness. Altitude. That's latitude. That's latitude. latitude and longitude, right? I was thinking of long. It's okay, we're right? slow. <laughs> I'm not slow. I'm getting there. All right. There. So the altitude does start at a vertex, but it goes towards the opposite side, and it is what with these these two lines are what? Starts with the P? Parallel. Perpendicular. Yeah, I, mean, per I know what you meant. <laughs> Perpendicular. Okay, so this is altitude. Wait, what, did, what exactly is altitude? Altitude starts at the vertex and goes to the opposite side, perpendicular. Basically, it's the height of the triangle. It's the height of the triangle. Okay. Remember back in uh, Algebra 1 or whatever, when you're talking about area of a triangle, one half base times height? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the height. <laughs> it's the height. Okay. But okay. does it have to be a right angle? Yes, always a right angle. Good question. So always that makes right it angle. the altitude? Yes, okay. right angles make it an altitude. So it's the height? It's the height, exactly. And All right. For an obtuse triangle, observe. Interesting. <sighs> Strong. So what's the height of this chair off the table? It's from here to this, right? The altitude. Yeah, that's the altitude. What is the height of the chair off the table if I went like this? Still to the top. From here, right? Yeah. Down. This is the height of the chair. How high is the chair off the table? From the highest point so down perpendicular. Is. Down perpendicular. So the highest point so, to the lowest point? Right. So what would be the altitude 
Oh. Oh. I was a joke. Oh. Altitude of this, yes? The, from the left <coughs> angle. Here? To down. Straight down, correct? Straight down. Yeah, I'll do it on Dot the line. Dotted line here. <coughs> So that's the height of this triangle. These are both altitudes. Okay. I do not understand. How tall is this triangle? Um. It's how high it is off the ground, if you will. Okay. See the ground? And how the height of the triangle is just measured straight up and down. So, yeah. So, so that's why it's the altitude. It's always a 90 degree issue. Well, altitude is only from the point. Always a point, right? Always a vertex. Same with median, always a vertex. And the difference is it drops 90 <coughs> degrees to the opposite side, thus giving the height of the triangle, how high it is off the ground. Okay? Like yours, I'm saying, if you wanted to say, how high does this triangle go? You'd go from the bottom straight to the top, this distance here. Okay? Yes? Can you say it's always 90 degrees when you move it? Always 90 degree angles? This one here is okay. Okay. It always has to be perpendicular. Oh, perpendicular. okay. Right. The altitude is always perpendicular to the opposite side. Say it again. The altitude, altitude is always, always perpendicular, perpendicular to the opposite side. Okay, two more. We've done this one, which is good news. Let's do something like this. Angle bisector. Angle bisector. What do you think an angle bisector does if we start here? Bisects the angle, right? So let's go down. If it bisects the angle, what's the marking on the triangle going to be? Yeah? You do the thing at the circle thing at the top, and then you take a slash. Right. Okay. Angle bisectors. There they are. Every triangle has three medians. Every triangle has three altitudes. You want to draw the other altitudes? Okay, what would the altitude <coughs> from here to there be? It's interesting, huh? What is the line that oh. will connect this point to this line at 90 degrees? Yes. Maybe someone else? I have a question. Yeah, question, please. Um, do you want us to, to you know how like because like, it's not going to be that line, that one? Gonna be the other one. Would you rather have a strut in the triangle? Sometimes it's in, sometimes it's out. It's out if it's obtuse. Oh, okay. Assuming this is 90 degrees though, because it kind of looks like 90, does it not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it actually is the altitude. In a right triangle, that angle here, this line is the altitude. Right? It sometimes helps to look at it like this. The altitude of this right triangle is this line. Right here. So the altitude on this side is here. And the altitude from this vertex is here also. Meaning this is an altitude. And this is also an altitude. And this is also an altitude. There you go. Start from a vertex and go to the opposite side at 90 degrees. Start from the vertex and go to the opposite side at 90 degrees. There it is, this line. Oh, okay. Start at a vertex and go to the opposite side at 90 degrees. There's one, here. Start at a vertex, go to the opposite side at 90 degrees. There's one. Okay, three altitudes. You'll get used to it. If you don't see it right away, give it a few minutes. All right, so those are altitudes here. Three angle bisectors, those are pretty straightforward. Go here. And let's do it here. All right, this angle is cut in half. Angle bisector, angle bisector, <coughs> angle bisector, angle bisector. Okay. Any more questions before we do the last one? Yes? It's so like always the two sides of the triangle or the second the, the, the Altitude the for a right triangle only. For a right triangle only. What if it's not a right triangle? What if it's not a right triangle? Like this one. So here's an altitude, right? What would be the altitude from here? What does an altitude go? What does it do? It goes from the vertex to the opposite side at 
90 degrees. 90 degrees. So, can you make a 90 degree angle with this? Yeah. Yeah. Do it here. I'll do it in red. There you go. Altitude. Guys, can you open the windows in the back? We got a little burr in her. Some Merle in that sense. By that, did you mean heat? Mm -hmm. Air, little air, little air and her. Okay, and that's one altitude, and now that's one, that's one, and now I need the altitude from here to the opposite side. Where's the opposite side? This. So, what line can we draw? It's not. What line can we draw that goes to this side, extended? That would be 90 degrees. Oh, it's out. It's outside. Where is it approximately? Where would it be? Would be down here. So, altitude for this obtuse triangle, 90 degrees. You have to think of 90 degrees like a traffic intersection. Perfect plus. Perfect plus. What's the plus that I can draw on this black line? The plus will go from here to there. That's the best plus I can manage. So this is your altitude there. If you turn your head to the side. There we go. A little better. Feel free during your test to like contort your neck however you want. Okay. Stretch before that. Yes, you're right. I got a math test. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to see altitudes. Okay, next. Any questions before we move on? Altitudes. Just remember, vertex to opposite side, 90 degrees. You can start with this one. Start with this idea, idea right here, and then we'll take it from there. Last one is called, so this we have is angle bisector. And last one. is called a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector. Okay, so what are the words you want to talk about first? The perpendicular part or the bisector part? Bisector. The bisector part. Both at the same time. Perpendicular bisector. <laughs> so, let's start with bisector, like you suggested. So what would be, what would be the idea if we're bisecting this line? What would happen? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah? You're splitting it into two. Splitting it into two. You do that? Cool? And how about a line that's perpendicular to this line here? Straight. Straight up and down? Yep. Let's do a different color. Colors are nice. And now, <laughs> does a perpendicular bisector necessarily touch a vertex? Maybe. Not always. Not always, as evidenced on the bubble. Perpendicular bisector. What's the perpendicular bisector here? What would I do? Where would I start? Opposite. Right on. So I start here. Yeah. Cut this in half. Opposite side of 90 degrees. That's not 90. That's more like 90. All right. There's one. And then perpendicular bisector here, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. 90 degrees. Okay. How's that look? Wow. Looks weird all at once. You know? It really does. Okay, there's a relationship about perpendicular bisector I want to do, and then we are finished. So here's the perpendicular bisector. Here's the idea behind the perpendicular bisector. Every point on it, every point on it, is the same distance from both of these vertices. Which looks clear to me, you know? Every point on it, this distance from here to here, is the same as this distance from here to here. Oh, okay. This distance from here to here, it's the same as this from here to here. Oh, we. I don't think the we green, have enough markers. The green's running out of juice from all the beautiful color. 
have another green soda. This distance from here to here. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> from here to here. Get it? Si, oh, senor. That's all that is. Okay. And, What's that uh, one called? It's just a rule that oh. these points are equidistant. Equidistant. Equidistant, yeah, right? Catch me a nickname. <laughs> That'll be my nickname. That's all I want to go over. Any others? Wait, what was the rule called in that one? This one? Per perpendicular bisector? Let's write it. Per bisector. You have to think of both words, okay? The perpendicular part. Guys, hold on one sec. We're almost done. Perpendicular part is that the line is perpendicular to this, and it bisects this line. Okay? So it's the only one of the four. Perpendicular bisector is the only one of the four that doesn't necessarily need to touch a vertex. See this? Doesn't necessarily need to touch a vertex. The other three do. Okay, so let's do lightning round. Who can raise their hand and say what a median is in their own words? In their own words? Yeah, in their own words. It's not that hard. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's another word for a bisector, and it splits a triangle into two, even congruent half. Okay, so medians don't necessarily split triangles into two congruent parts. So they, split, it, they split the line. This, exactly. It splits it's the like, line that it touches into two congruent parts. This black line's a median. Can you see that these triangles aren't necessarily congruent? Right. So it goes from a vertex, Splits the opposite side into two equal parts. Good. What is an altitude? Yes. It starts at a vertex and forms right angles with the base. In right. With the opposite side the or, opposite. or the base. That's great. Base. Okay, good. Yeah? Um, the height. It's also another word for the height. Good job. Yeah, Ursula. Okay. All right, Ursula, let's follow up. What is an <laughs> angle bisector? It bisects the angle. It bisects the angle. What does that mean to bisect an angle? I don't know. <laughs> like, what is a milkshake? I was kind of It is a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> what is a chocolate milkshake? It is a chocolate milkshake. Oh, I get it now. A shake of chocolate. Yeah, what is an angle bisect? <laughs> what does it mean to bisect an angle? To, to split. To split the? Two parts in half. Okay. Works for me. And what is a perpetrator bisector? Perpendicular. Yes. Perpendicular bisector. What is it? It is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys have like lost the wind in your sails. Perpendicular bisector. Last one. I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Oh, it cuts this line in half, and it's the same distance. And it's equal to equidistant from the ver ver vertex. And what about this line? It's perpendicular. It's perpendicular to this. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you would be gay math. Gay math one more time. Okay. Would you like? Would you like to say first? One, two, three. Yay math!